Hello YouTube, welcome to my 11th video in the Logic Gate series and in this video I'll be showing you the well another D flip flop design but this one is a uh, much more compact and uh, stackable, tileable, whatever. Um, this is not my design, I think it was uh, well I can't remember who I learned this design off so yeah, I don't claim any credit for this Okay, to begin with, place two uh, two pieces of redstone, torch, and then build a T with one more on this end, like that. Place a block here, and then well, that's it for your blocks. Now, what uh, torch here and here, come around the other side, and place one here. This is now your output. Uh, you need a torch here as well, and three pieces of redstone with a repeater in the middle. Oh, and a, a piece of redstone there. Okay, so that's your um, your D flip flop done. Um, that's where your lever would go, and this is where your button would go. So, uh, if I show you, um, if I just uh, reset it, the output is off because because the um, the input is off. But if I flick it on, nothing will happen until the um, until I press the button. If you don't know the um, like how this works or the explanation of it, go and watch my other. D flip flop tutorial that I'll show you how it works. This basically uses a vertical iris null latch and uh, this bit here to reset it and set it. I'll just show you that this is tileable um, using world edit. I'll just Just stack it a few times. Okay, this is extremely compact, and this could be a uh, used as RAM. This could be a uh, well, this would be half a byte of RAM, four bits of RAM. So yeah, reset them all from this here, and there your outputs. Just input two bits onto it. Nothing's happened. I reset it and they show. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe.